runway tomorrow night for their biannual style Chicago Art of Fashion show. It's the eighth season for the show featuring spring 2015 collections from Chicago's finest designers and one of them is joining us this morning. His name is Mark Roscoe. Good morning and welcome. Thank you, Jane. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Okay, so if you're looking at him going, why does he look like a lawyer to me? It's because that's what you also do on the site. So you practice as a lawyer, but passion, your passion is really fashion it has as been. well? Yeah, absolutely. And so both of them kind of work hand in hand? They do. Different sides of the brain, but, you know, one, uh, the creative side of the fashion makes me a little bit more creative in the office when I'm mediating cases, divorce cases. So. Oh, so you do family law? I do. Oh, wow. Well, this can kind of be a healing sort yeah, of thing, I would imagine. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's talk about how you got into doing this. Well, I've been in the fashion business for fashion industry for about 20 years, originally as a model and then as an actor, but I was inspired by my mom who was a plus size woman and it always it was so disheartening for me to see her come home after a shopping trip mm. empty handed because designers just weren't paying that much attention to that sect of our society. Right. It has improved a little bit. It has yeah. improved, but not where it needs to be. Um, and so I purchased a sewing machine and I taught myself how to sew. Oh, that's so sweet. And I started Mark. making clothes for her and it was really nice because you know, I, I think every woman has an op should have an opportunity to look as beautiful as they can, and we provide our clients with that opportunity, especially those who have difficulty finding clothes off the rack. What we what we do and, and what we design are one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh, once we use the fabric and we create a design, we do not repeat it for any other client. Oh, and so wow. So you're you, going to have something that no other exactly. woman has. Exactly. So you never have to worry about seeing yourself at a party or at a red carpet or being compared to someone else in the room. So it's truly a one-of-a-kind piece. Well, let's look at your first one-of-a-kind piece okay. because it is exquisite. Now, these are what you're going to be designing for people coming up in, for events in the spring. Yes, absolutely. Um, and what is this made of? This is... Uh, it, well, it's an Italian lace that has a floral brocade, and it is made of silk. The sleeves are of chiffon, and the skirt, a little poof skirt, is made of silk charmeuse. And how do you make a poof like that? Uh, there's a, a, a little tool underneath oh, okay. that kind of like, lifts a, it like a bit you would of, have under a wedding dress exactly. or a pro oh wow! Exactly. And how long does it take you to make a creation like this? Uh, this took us about four weeks to create. Wow! Yeah, An because entire month. The, yes, because actually the the floral the flowers are actually hand applied so each each flower is positioned specifically where we we desire to place it wow. and so you know that whole process takes a while okay wow <laughs> Seriously, now the, this is some serious fashion here that you're doing. I like that the care that you take with each one. Thank you. And the next dress is just as striking, uh, and it looks, it's a little more bold, I think. Yeah, this is Candace, and she has uh, our uh, red and black, kind of a modified sweetheart collar with the feather bottom. Uh, again, I, you know, I like subtle bling, uh, not so much in your face, but... I was going to say, that's subtle, Mark? <laughs> What's not <laughs> subtle? <laughs> <laughs> sophisticated, but uh, it is definitely yeah, sophisticated yeah. for sure. Yeah. She wears it very nicely. And that feather at the bottom when she walks, if you could see her walking in it, it would just be, it's, it's lovely because it kind of goes push it, push yes. it, push it. I, I, I like fabrics or designs that have movement to them. Uh -huh. These two pieces are a little bit tighter, but most of our pieces have a lot of flow and movement to them. Um, yeah, so. if, you, if you get a chance, go on the website because some of those, those coats, those evening coats yeah. you had were just gorgeous. Now, is that part of the reason too, because you can move in them, that performers like your work as well? Because you also created something for the Las Vegas Vegas, uh, Las Vegas's hottest female uh, impersonator, Frank Marino. Yes, uh, Frank has the longest running uh, show on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, he's been running for 29 years and counting. Mm -hmm. uh, he has two stars on the Walk of Fame, and uh, he has an exceptional show, all female impersonators. And, uh, and they, this is the dress right here yes, that you made for him? this is the dress that we actually made for Frank. He is actually touring uh, now in Indiana, Chicago area, at the Blue Chick Casino. He's playing there this weekend. So we'll be presenting this garment to Frank, uh, and it will appear in his show this weekend. I so. think that Melissa and I need just the just the collar thing because that could dress up any outfit, right? <laughs> yeah. A little over the top, little Vegas, but I mean it's <laughs> definitely Frank, and and it will make a statement. That's the truth. Now you also have uh, some other statement dresses that we thought were so cool when we heard about them. I noticed you strategically did not bring the chocolate one that's, in here today because yeah. we might eat it. But this whole dress is made of chocolate, or is that's just the top part? The, the top part is made of chocolate. Uh, we were invited to create this dress for uh, Barbie in Chicago, hosted by Ham. Amy Hanna, who's a photographer here in Chicago, and she wanted a dress made of chocolate. So Omar um, uh, from the uh, Food Network 
uh, helped me create the dress. I designed it, and he applied the. Oh, okay, uh, so it was a partnership. Yes, sort it was of a thing. partnership. Okay, uh, if I was the model, I'd be eating every piece, and then you have. Well, one we are. We are actually, if you see uh -huh. in, in that picture, we are covered in chocolate <laughs> because we're, we're putting the garment on her, and it started to melt. But it made the photo op, it made the runway, and just totally melted out. Did it really? Okay, so that wasn't yeah. the most practical one. Not the most practical. You one. also have one made of newspaper. Yes, uh, Steve Starr, uh, who was a photographer oh, here in Chicago, him. he's a great guy, a good oh. friend. Uh, the last event that he hosted, uh, right before, or actually after he died, but in preparation for that event, he asked me to create four dresses uh, that depicted the women of the world. There was an Asian, an African American, a, a Hispanic, and a Caucasian. And this is Candace, who you just saw modeling her uh, a short time ago, uh, and she was wearing one of the paper dresses that we created for his event. That is. Gorgeous. I love the play on the colors, even though it's newspaper. Cool stuff. Thank we you. can't wait to see the whole collection. If you want to reserve your tickets for the Art of Fashion at Millennium Park, visit stylechicago.com. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for having coming. me. Not Jane. a problem.